2023 Mazda CX-50 Year-Long Review and All-Terrain Yosemite Trip With the 2023 Mazda CX-50, the automaker seeks to make off-road capability a new brand attribute in addition to the sportiness its vehicles are already known for. My recent road trip to Yosemite National Park proved apt in assessing this compact SUV's positioning, it wasn't entirely a road trip, strictly speaking. Having now ventured on paths beaten and otherwise, we're starting to get a picture of our long-term CX-50's capabilities and shortcomings. Highway Robbery Myself, two friends, and our things fit neatly into CX-50, with its cargo area spacious enough to fit our duffels stacked atop one another without blocking my rear view. Our CX-50 is a range-topping 2.5 Turbo Premium Plus model, equipped with ventilated front seats that keep their occupants' backsides feeling breezy. Cool as we were up front, airflow to the rear was lacking, backseat riders griped about being too warm despite having dedicated air vents. The initial leg out of Los Angeles up California State Route 99 was remarkably unremarkable, made up of dead straight, decently maintained pavement that wouldn't be uncommon across the Great Plains. Despite their commonness, the CX-50 isn't terrifically suited to roads like these, which highlight how its ride is firm and noisy to a degree a hair below uncomfortable. More frustrating is how Mazda hasn't noticeably enhanced its driver assist features over time. They performed in an equally unsatisfactory way to our mechanically related 2020 Mazda CX-30 long-termer, lane keep assist so minimal as to seem non-existent, and adaptive cruise control that's always a beat behind it never fully convinced me that it would actually break in time for traffic ahead. At least the blind spot monitoring functions well and handily shows in our car's head-up display in addition to the side mirrors. Into the Hills Dreary views of dusty farmland changed to craggy, tree-lined foothills as the pockmarked truck route wove into an undulating two-lane as we climbed out of the Central Valley into the Sierra Nevadas. Our hillside retreat in the town of Oakhurst was reachable only by a steep, winding offshoot. Over the next few days, I traversed that and many other twisty stretches in and around Yosemite. Here, the Mazda found its groove. These roads entirely suited its lithe, connected handling. Suspension that felt stiff on the highway now proved adept in keeping the body level. Weighty, direct steering made it easy to place the CX-50 in a curve, as did the firm, short-travel brake pedal. Our track test results are forthcoming, but, like its application in the CX-5 and CX-30 I've reviewed previously, the CX-50's powertrain left me thinking a transmission with more than six forward gears could do much to wake this engine up. Fortunately, the paddle shifters are reactive, we made good friends. Midway through one of these wonderful byways, a companion told me what a smooth driver I am. Thanks, bud, but the CX-50 deserves much of the credit. It really cooperates with a focused driver, rewarding deliberate inputs with corresponding poise. Off-roading, Mazda style. In a tumultuous world, the imposing permanence of Yosemite's terrain is an awe-inspiring respite. Our CX-50's Zircon sand paint, a sort of metallic desert tan, blended with the green and ochre tones throughout the area, which holds endless places to explore even outside of the park's boundaries. One such place we visited was the Nelder Grove, where ancient redwoods have grown trunks literally larger than a Boeing 747's fuselage. After climbing up road 632's numerous switchbacks, Nelder Grove is accessed by venturing onto dirt. This way is no difficult trail, only mildly rutted and with water crossings barely deeper than the tire sidewalls. Even so, the CX-50 exceeded expectations here. Like on pavement, surface textures were transmitted through the suspension, but its taut control kept the body and us inside from flopping about. Every CX-50 is equipped with all-wheel drive, which shifted power rearward to preserve traction or even swing the tail out a tad. That torque split seems slightly optimized by the CX-50's off-road mode. On this excursion, the main change our group would have appreciated is a larger sunroof through which to admire the canopies above. Compared to the panoramic pane on our recently departed 2021 Kia Sorento long-termer, the CX-50's sunroof is disappointing, its opening measures in the single-digit inches. A do-it-all road tripper? Reality loomed. 
After a few days it was time to drop out of the mountains and onto the highway. There, I pondered what similar vehicle might have been a better mixed terrain companion than the CX-50. My immediate thought was the new Mazda's apparent target, the Subaru Outback. Our previous 2020 Onyx Edition long-termer demonstrated the Outback's near-luxury ride smoothness and adept driver aids. Subaru's renowned all-wheel drive would have been at least as capable as Mazda's on that short off-road jaunt. But even a turbocharged Outback is no WRX, while the CX-50 was legitimately enjoyable on the Yosemite area's backroads. Perhaps Mazda hasn't gone far enough to conquer America's most popular wagon, but with the CX-50 it might have created a similarly versatile yet much more driver-oriented alternative. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.